all amigos this is somewhere and welcome to code pipe today we will see how we can use pagination in our django application before starting i would like to clear one thing this is just a tutorial and this tutorial is for beginners because i have been getting comments stating that i am not doing anything new i am just doing what is presented in the documentation so yes i will be doing exactly what is presented in documentation for beginners and for people who like to see a video version of the documentation and this is kind of a playlist of a database where i provide all the simple things from django so without wasting any more time let's start first of all let me show you how our page will look so i have already created a django application and i have already created a model because we are just going to see how pagination works i am assuming that we have some information about django how to start and how to set up so i have added seven titles or seven entries for our django application let's move to our editor this is our home.html i have my models.py where i have created the model of entry we have our views.py where i have used a simple function to render our html page pagination is quite simple all we have to do is get the documentation it will be very easy after that so if we search for django pagination we will get the first as documentation which is this one and here we can see the paginator is the class which we will be using and it is an inbuilt class so if we scroll down and we go for function based we will see this one so first of all we have to initiate our paginator for that we will import paginator from core we will directly copy this in our views.py we will paste this and in my function I will initiate it paginator is equal to paginator we want to paginate entry list let's say we want three entries per page so we'll do this next step is we want to inform our HTML or we want to inform Django to render only three entries per page for that we will need to send something through context dictionary we will again take help of documentation in our documentation we can see we have to send page object as in context dictionary object so we will copy this paste this here and we need to send this as a entry so we will paste this here give a comma and we are done we are done in our views.py but in our home.html we need to do something else if we scroll up in the documentation we will see we have this pagination or this html code so we can directly paste it in our html page we don't have to do anything just before this for loop we will paste this but here one thing to note is we are looping through the entries which is all the objects from the model entry we need to change this to page underscore object so that it will get the context on which page what entries are there and if we go to our browser if we refresh this we can see we are getting three entries and on the bottom we are getting page one of three and we are getting next and last if we click on last it will go to the last page since we only have seven on the last page it will show only one if we go previous it will show three so using pagination in function based views is very simple now let us see how to use them in class based views for that we will go to our views.py here we will create a class that will be used as a class based view so let's make it entry list view and we will import the list view from Django generic views import list view we will use list view here and here we just have to give the model our model will be entry and one more thing we have to give that is paginate underscore by let's give it two so that we can see the difference now what this class will do is it will automatically include this page obj in the context dictionary so we will comment this out for a while we will use this view in our urls that will be main urls we will import the view so we will use import entry list view and in place of function view we will use entry list view dot as underscore view let's comment this out now if you are wondering if we have to do any changes in home.html so we don't have to do any changes let's go to our browser and check if we refresh our page okay so looks like we have to also give the template name in our class based views in our views.py we will include 
template underscore name which is home.html now it should run if we refresh okay so we are able to see that we are getting two titles and we are getting page one of four which means on the last we will only have one which is title seven if we go for previous we have two so which means we are able to use pagination in both function based views and class based views here we can also customize these buttons but for the sake of tutorial i'm just using the default configuration with this i conclude the video here for django pagination tutorial it is quite simple and we can have a great use of this in our django application if you are a beginner in django i have some playlist where i provide information about django packages we also have a playlist for making school lms which is quite useful you can have a look at that we are also working on django e-commerce the videos will be out soon if you like this video please leave a thumbs up so that youtube will recommend it to other users if you are coming on the channel for the first time i put out videos on every sunday regarding django web development and general python codes so hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out any videos let me know your thoughts in the comment section we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios